So let's talk about the NBA and how it's going. I had the pleasure of going to the Nets uh, Bucks game on Saturday night. It was an epic, epic game. It was a war. Uh, the playoffs are just different. And one of the worries this year has been that so many of the key players have had injuries. The Nets certainly had. The Lakers certainly did. Your team uh, was without Chris Paul. Uh, do you think that the 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 back-to-back -back seasons uh, contributed to all of these injuries? Now, Chris Paul is out for health uh, protocol. We'll get to that in just a moment. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll give you a contrarian view to that. Um, there was less time off, but then during last season, there was quite a bit of time off. And if you look at the scheduling this year, we only added one extra game per month. And because we played back-to-backs in the same city, we actually reduced travel by 15%. So, so in truth, the, the strain on the bodies uh, maybe wasn't as, as high as, as we might be led to believe. Yeah, I, I don't think so. And, and the number of injuries wasn't higher than what mm -hmm. we've seen over the previous years. But the names of some of the players uh, that have had injuries during this playoff series has been unfortunate. And, and those are some of the names that the fans yeah, want to watch. It cer certainly has been. Can, what can you tell us about Chris Paul? I know that there are uh, protocols and, and privacy issues uh, involved here. But do you expect him to play in the next game uh, of the series or later in this series? Yeah, I mean, I expect him to play this series, but I don't know exactly when. Um, you know, that that's up in the air at this point. Uh, but I do know he's been actively engaged with our with our players. And fortunately, during the season, helped us set a foundation of, you know, winning culture and next man up. And we've got a number of players that are taking advantage of that opportunity and filled in really good last night and helped our team to a victory. Uh, $44 million. Uh, con is, it, is that going to be worth the price, Robert? I'm curious how you would make a decision like that for keeping someone like Chris Paul. Uh, that's not a hard decision. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be in a position yeah, where you can say that's not a hard, uh, a hard decision. I, I know those numbers, those numbers are kind of hard to fathom, uh, you know, for the general public. Um, but uh, for me, he's, he's been worth every penny of it. Let me ask you a related question as I read that you bought the team in 2004 for a then record $401 million. Did you buy it out of uh, loyalty and passion, kind of thinking, I don't care uh, if this is worth it or not? Or did you think it was an undervalued asset? And given how much the team is worth now, how long do you hang on to it? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Uh, you know, I thought long and hard about it. I've been a passionate uh, basketball fan and uh, growing up in Arizona, a passionate Phoenix Suns fan. And, you know, I, I always say we do two things with our life, things we should do and things we want to do. And I've been doing things that I should have done for a long period of time and thought I wanted to try something I really wanted to do. Uh, and so uh, ended up buying the franchise. It happened to be for sale at kind of an opportune time for me. And uh, had a long conversation with my wife about it. And uh, she just said, hey, don't lose all her money uh, and, and, and make sure we stay married. And I said, I can commit to both of those. So. All right. Well, that's, that's happy outcomes all around. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.